Hello productive people, how's it going? My name is Carter Sirach and I'm back with another Notion video. In today's video, I'm sharing six Notion templates for completely free. And this database of templates that I'm going to share with you guys today is going to be ever growing. So I'm going to be uploading free and premium templates to this database. And this is what it looks like. I've got it set up all right here in Notion. And you can access this by clicking the link in the top pinned comment or the link in the description. Once you get over to this page, you can see all of my free templates and all of my premium templates that I'm giving away. So uh, just for the free templates today, I'm going to be showcasing the six templates that we already have in here. And as I said, we're going to be adding to this list. So if you're watching this video uh, when it first comes out, there might only be six in here, but if you come back in the future, there might be 20 free templates by the time you come back. So. Let's, without further ado, just dive into some of these templates and I'll show you guys what they're all about. Uh, I just wanted to put this video out there as a free resource because pretty soon here we're going to be launching our premium templates and I didn't want to leave you all hanging uh, with completely premium templates. So I thought I'd sprinkle in a few uh, free templates that can help you get started with Notion. So let's look at a few of these. We've got the seven beginner Notion shortcuts, and this one's a bit of a guide. So if I click into this and then I hit open as page, I can hit duplicate up here in the right corner and add this to my Notion workspace. Once you get into here, you can click on these different, um, these different pages and you can read the shortcuts that I think are most important to know in Notion, especially if you're just getting started. So these are really just some pretty simple shortcuts uh, you can find this information elsewhere, but these are the seven that I think are most important. And I just talk a little bit about those uh, throughout this, uh, this guide slash template here. The next template that I wanted to share is fantastic flashcards. Now, this is actually a component that I use within one of my premium templates that I've created recently, which is the student dashboard. So the student dashboard has uh, a ton of different uh, features to it, right? It has assignment tracking, class tracking, professors, uh, flashcards, and notes. And in this free template, fantastic flashcards, I give you guys access to the same flashcards that I use in that student dashboard. So as you can see, this is how the flashcards work. You can add to this database right here. And again, if you open as page, you can duplicate this and create an editable version of this flashcards database. But these are the flashcards that I have in here right now. And you can sort them by whatever topic you want using this switcher here. You can add as many topics up here that you want. And you can also add as many flashcards as you want. So if you wanted to quiz yourself on who is your favorite Notion YouTuber, you could click on this and you'd see that the answer is Productive Dude. So uh, that's pretty cool. How can I learn Notion faster? Click on it, get the answer by watching Productive Dude. Awesome. <laughs> so I hope that this is helpful with your active recall and your memorization strategy uh, and it's built right into Notion. So definitely add this one to your workspace. I think it'll help you out a ton. All right, moving on to the third free template, we have projects and tasks. So this one here is one of my favorite free templates that I offer. And this allows you to uh, check off these different tasks, add different tasks in here, and also see your progress related to those tasks within a project. So as you can see here, project two is at 66%. And if I go over to project two, you'll notice that I have two tasks out of that checked off. This third one here isn't checked off yet, so that's why we are at 66%. If you duplicate this, you can edit it, you can delete all these projects out of here, delete these tasks and add your own projects and tasks, and then you've got a nice progress tracker. Another thing to mention is if you are struggling with this, I have videos linked on all of these templates. So you can go ahead and click the link right here and it'll take you to a video where I explain how to build this and how I went about configuring it for uh, my projects. You can also see the back end pages in here and you can click in and just see projects. And if you want to, you can just see tasks. So pretty robust template. And I really, really like this sort of progress slider right here. Next, we're gonna look at my daily to do template. Now this is another task tracking template. It's another sort of like to do list template, but this one's set up a little bit differently. So in this 
example here, uh, we are actually just using this nice uh, list on the left side here. And if we need to create a new list, we can hit add a new day. And then once you're done with that, you will simply drag it into the days over here. So we've got day one, but you could have as many days in here as you want. And you could track how much you got done on these specific tasks on that day. For instance, April 2nd here, we got 71% done. If I open up the day, you'll see that uh, we missed a couple tasks, but we got some of these done. So five completed out of seven, and that gives us our 71%. This also serves as a mood tracker, so that's pretty neat. And if you wanna learn more about this particular uh, task tracker um, and daily tracking system, uh, check out this video right here. Again, you can access this entire public template library in the link below. The next template that I have up for grabs in this template pack is a custom divider template. And this is actually more of a guide, if you will. So if I go into custom dividers here, you'll see that there's a few different ways that you can use dividers, right? And I've shown them as examples here. So we have a divider here, we have a divider that's going up and down here, and I have the code that you need for creating vertical and horizontal uh, dividers. So that's pretty cool. And you can watch this video if you are struggling at all uh, with, with getting these dividers to work. This one should help you out and it should give you an understanding of how the dividers work. And finally, I'm going to talk about my priority tracker template. So this is yet another sort of like task tracking template and it's really uh, sort of out of the box user friendly. So if I open this as a page, you'll see that I have a few different drop downs here. So this is just a video that you can watch if you're struggling. Uh, this is how to use the system, a step by step. And I talk about, you know, how to manage the different columns. And then here you can see the database itself. So whenever you add a new task to this database, you're going to want to fill out impact and difficulty. And once you fill out impact and difficulty, it's going to generate a ratio here. And that is what you're going to sort this database by. So once you sort this database by that ratio, it's going to show you the low hanging fruits up top, and it's going to show you uh, the things that are requiring a lot from you, but maybe aren't returning a lot for you on the bottom. And then I also have the formula code in here. So you can add this for the respective columns and you can kind of see uh, what I did to, to get these to uh, pull in these numbers for these scoring columns. All right, so those are some of the free templates that I'm giving away. Again, you can find the link to this template dashboard in the description below or in the top pinned comment. So comment below and let me know what you guys think of these free templates. Let me know if you have any feedback, any questions at all. I'm happy to help. And also go ahead and like this video if you haven't already. It really helps out a ton. And these free templates are just some goodwill we're putting out there in the community. So go ahead and drop a like to thank us for that. And then also subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this and you don't want to miss out on the next one. All right, we'll see you in the next one.